This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today it's all about electricity and positive and negative charges and currents and open circuits, parallel circuits. Today we're talking about Circuit Maze. This is uh, the newest from Think Fun. Uh, this is a one player game that you can you can really play it but with more than one, but it's designed for one player. It's a puzzly style game. So let me show you how it's played and I'll see you on the other side. Circuit Maze is a puzzle game that uses electronics and current flow and lights as beacons to be able to finish the puzzles. The game comes with 60 different puzzles, 15 of each in the different types. So we have beginners, intermediates, advanced, and experts. Obviously the beginner ones are only using one light and just a limited amount of pieces, and all the way up to the big ones are using all three lights and all the extra, uh, you know, the tough pieces to use. The game itself comes with some player aids that teach you about electronic current and how it flows and specifically with the pieces because it comes with a place where you put batteries in and it shows you that you have to you know line up polarities as it's going through the led to light it up in different ways that lights will light and lights won't light just to give you the basics of current flow and how things work and then the rule book itself goes over through that again through more of a theoretical way talking about how current flows uh, both in series circuits and parallel circuits here and series and parallel circuits here and then some series parallel circuits later and so on the puzzles you're trying to get the certain beacons to light so for example if i plug this in this now lights and i know that this circuit now works and i would have completed one of the easier puzzles and when you're done with that puzzle you simply just take these out they sort of snap in here so you you'll you'll pick which way they go they snap in what happens is on the side they actually have these little things uh, these little pieces of metal that touch the other pieces of metal and then finally to the battery now the game does come with this power supply you will have to supply your own batteries to go in here uh, and you'll just want to stick it in and uh, where the where the, where the uh, puzzle tells you to now each puzzle tells you what the challenge is this says i've got to get a green beacon going and it some of the places it tells you which pieces to put where so you may have a starting spot and then it says there's some that you need to add to the grid but this means it doesn't know where or what rotation so you're going to need to add an additional 90 degree and the green beacon somehow to what's already here to get this thing to light up but as you can imagine once you get to the harder ones it gives you a starting spot this one might not you have to decide which way that thing goes or it turns and then all these other ones you have to decide where they go and what rotation they are and all the pieces that you might be using during the game are in this nice insert they snap sort of shut there so they stay there they don't flop around and then we obviously we have the lights we have you know t-shapes we have x shapes we have different things we have switches there on the bottom so all different ways that you'll be using these pieces to finally get these puzzles going all right, well, there you have Circuit Maze. Now, I bought this game for my nephew because he's a teenager and he's thinking about becoming an engineer. And it's really interesting to me because I, in the past, have loved Think Fun games. I used to play that rush hour game with the little cars and the traffic all the time. And I still play it from time to time. And I like their little one player puzzle games, but this one had to do with electricity and circuits. And if you don't know this, I have my bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, where of course we studied circuits for years, right? So this was so fun to be able to buy this for him because we'll be, I haven't gave it to him yet, but we're about to you know, share this with him at Christmas time during his birthday and be, to be able to sit down and teach him about series circuits, parallel circuits, open circuits, you know, short circuits, and be able to do this and you, you put it together and the thing just lights up. Uh, it's, it's, it's really cool. So if you like these single solo style puzzle games, from Think Fun or others, this is a, an excellent version of this because you can learn something. I like how the rules sort of talks about the different types of circuits and making the things light up is, is always fun. They have a lot of cars here, 60 of them, and I like how they ratchet up and I like how some of them have those switches in there where some of the ones, you, you know, you put the switch to the left, it has to do something. You put it to the middle, it has to do something different. You put it to the right, it has to do something different. Very interesting way to teach people how circuits work, but still being a solo fun game. But by the way, you don't have to play it solo. You could play it with two or three all working together. There's no problem with that. Even though it's designed for one, it's okay if you play with a couple. I think it's fine. But overall, this is a very fun, fresh, unique look at some of those solo puzzle games from Think Fun, who generally does great stuff in this regard, and that is Circuit Maze. This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. 
Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for backing me on Kickstarter, making this season become a reality. I'd like to especially thank those here that have backed me at the credit level. Now, these video reviews are also available by audio on our podcast. It's the intros and the final thoughts on GameboyGeek.com. Click podcast. Thank <laughs> you.